So I am back in one of the fastest growing cities in all of Florida, Westlake, Florida. They started with the hammocks. Then they moved on to other communities like the meadows, like the orchards, like the estates. Well, today we are looking at one of their brand new communities. And I think this one is an exciting one. This is the woodland of Westlake. My name is Ray Fernandez. I'm with Living in Palm Beach, Florida, powered by EXP Realty. Welcome. So we do a lot of new construction videos. We do a lot of relocations. That's most of the people that we help are relocating from other areas. It just so turns out that most of those people are considering new construction. So we go new construction community to new construction community to see what they're all about in an unbiased approach. So this one here, I've been hearing about for a while, and now just recently, it is starting to take off. Now, when I mean take off, I mean that they're just starting to sell. Minto has, at the beginning of the year, Minto is the builder here in, in Westlake. They pretty much control the area, with the exception of uh, Coulter, who does the 55 plus Crestwind community here in the city of Westlake. But they've been, they, they manage their, their, Minto does, manages their construction, and they go community by community. As I mentioned, the hammocks was one of the first. And they've, they've recently, I'm back here is what they call the orchards. We did a lot of business in the orchards. It is currently their largest community. So they, they are almost sold out of that completely. And then now we're moving on to the, to the woodlands. And I'll tell you what's unique about the woodlands. So at the woodlands, they are going to use, Mento is going to use their two top collections to sell out this community. Uh, it's going to be a smaller community. It's going to be similar to if uh, you if you um, follow the channel, you've seen a while back we did a, a video on the estates. The Woodlands is going to be similar to the estates, so they're going to be of the three of three collections: the Atlantic, Indigo, and Cypress. The Woodlands is going to be made up of the Atlantic uh, collection. They're they're up their upper one, and the middle collection, which is called the Indigo. So if you were thinking about moving to this area and you have questions you want answered from perhaps people who've actually done it before, we're here in living in Palm Beach, Florida. We'd love to help. There's a couple of ways to get a hold of us. Down below is our email address. That's one great way. Also on the screen, you see our phone number. You can either call or text that number. Um, but literally two of the best ways is in the description and the comments section, there's a link. Click on that link. What that'll do is that'll help set up some time for us to speak either through a phone call or through a Zoom, whatever way you feel most comfortable. In any case, we have your back when it comes to relocating here to sunny South Florida. So a little bit on Westlake as a whole. Um, this is like a, one of the sub... What, the Woodlands is, gonna, is one of the subdivisions within Westlake. Westlake started way back in 2016, uh, but really the main growth has been the last few years. When all is said and done, Westlake is going to be a total of, uh, of 4,000 homes, they're probably not even halfway there yet. Uh, there's still a lot more to go. Minto is the builder who bought all this property way back when. They still control it. They've sold some parcels of land to other builders in, historically. As an example, they sold one to Label & Company, which opened Sky Cove. Sky Cove, uh, they have Sky Cove South. They have two sections of Sky Cove. That's now sold out. They did very well here. They also sold uh, to Coulter, which does the 55 plus community. But within Westlake, you have several subdivisions. They were talking about the Woodlands, which is going to be one of their more upper-end communities here at Westlake. So you might hear a lot of banging, a lot of noise in the background. It's the, it's the weekday, and the workers are building, are building out there. Um, I'm here early. A lot of people do not know about this place. Uh, I, it's my experience that the uh, sooner you get in, the earlier you get in, typically you get the better, the better deals. You certainly have more more lots that are available to you. So that's one of the things. Once you get to the end, like the orchards is beautiful. We sold a lot of property in there. Um, but, you know, you're getting down to the end. And you're if you like this community orchards, you're limited as to what's left. Not the case here at, at Woodlands. Um, I had to literally walk down this sidewalk from the orchards. And they have a sign there telling, say, basically telling me not to come down here. Um, anyways... So that this is one of those communities that if you want to get in early, uh, this is the one. If you want to get into Westlake and you want to get in, in a community early, this is something, this is your opportunity literally right now. 
So I'm going to use my cheat sheet here for a minute. Um, here at Woodlands, there's going to be 164 homes. So it's not going to be a big community. Um, like this Orchards community was literally hundreds of homes. This is going to be similar to the estates, higher end, smaller community. And to give you an idea of sizes, uh, like the smallest, the Indigo is the, is the lower collection within the Woodlands. Uh, the smallest home there is, and we've done a lot of business with this model. It's called the Sand Hill. It's a nice model. It's uh, basically 2,410 square feet under air. Now, when we say under air here in Florida, that means living space. We judge everything by under air, meaning under air conditioning. Um, the price, the base price of that home, now again, this is just the, pro the base price of the model, is in the mid fives, roughly. Uh, be careful. If you go to like if you go to websites and uh, builders' websites, they typically only call, only uh, quote you the the base price uh, base price of the model. They don't include the land. So, uh, and by the way, if you're on if you're going into the website, don't register. More on that later. But continuing on, the Indigo Collection. If you want to get into the Woodlands, the Sand Hill claim crane, the Sand Hill, I should say, is the model that you're gonna. That's that sort of their starty, starting slash entry point. Now, in that same collection is the Kestrel Grand. That's uh, 3,969 square feet. It's roughly 690, the upper sixes, let's call it. Um, they have a model um, in the model center for that. And that is, you know, we take a lot of people to this community. And that's one of the models that always seem to stick out with people. That's, that's what we find. There, there's a couple of models that are there, our Mintos go to. Those two models, the Sand Hill and the, and the, and the Kestrel Grand, are two of those. And the Kestrel Grand is on the upper end when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the Indigo uh, collection within Minto's collection here at the Woodlands of Westlake. So let's move on to the Atlantic. So the Atlantic is their highest uh, is their highest collection, and it really I say, I'll say it does show well. I've actually looked at uh, personally. I've looked at the it's called the Riviera, and uh, the Riviera Grand is uh, is basically a little bit over four thousand square feet. Model price on that is uh, almost a million, not quite, like 950000 It's not the biggest, believe it or not, but what attracts me to that model is it's a courtyard house. Uh, if you guys are familiar like with the Spanish-style houses, you'll have a pool area in the middle of the house, and the house is built around it, very Spanish-style. I love that. That's just my personal taste. Um, but starting on the lower end of the Atlantic, you have the, uh, the Highland. That's 2,703 square feet. It's in the lower sevens for the uh, for the base price, and then the biggest the biggest home you can get here is called the Coral Cove Grand, and now you're looking at about uh, almost 4,600 square feet under air. So that's the biggest home that that you're going to see. But what's nice is all these homes are going to be after you add the lots, in, and I'll get more on on lot prices in a minute. After you add the lot prices in, a lot of the houses here at the Woodlands of Westlake are going to be something in the area of about a million dollars. Of course, you can get in for less than a million dollars. And let me break it down for you. If you want an entry level uh, here at the Woodlands, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll give you an idea of what you can expect and expect in terms of pricing. I hesitate to say too much regarding pricing on lots because the uh, the base price of the homes, they always do go up, but they, they go up slowly. Lot prices are much more volatile. Um, you're basically looking at about $100,000. Um, I have it quoted right now at about $96,000 for the smaller collection and they go up to 175 so you take that seven on the lower end if you're looking at the sand bill you take that 700 lower sevens and 100 so you're probably you're adding some options you're probably on the lower end here in woodlands you're probably looking at somewhere realistically speaking in the mid 800 thousands now the lots are bigger here um the average lot in this community here is they're going to be somewhere um width wise about 75 feet they're going to go 150 feet deep. Um, there's a community they're also selling now, which I haven't mentioned. I'll mention it right now. It's called the Pines. And instead of looking at the upper upper collection and the middle collection, the Pines is going to be looking at the middle and the lower collection. And if you look at even the same models used in the Pines versus what you have here at uh, at the Woodlands, you'll see that the um, that the the lots are a little bit smaller there. They're larger here. That's what they do. And I always tell people, I give people advice this way. Don't get deterred by the price of a lot. Look at everything collectively. When they were selling in the estates, which I think is the estates is the nicest community currently in, uh, in Westlake, 
People got caught up with the lots were about $150,000 at the time when you could have gotten a lot here in the orchards for like, let's say, less than 50. So, but I felt that the, 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 the value was much more compelling uh, over at the estates because I think, again, people get caught up in a lot. Now, what determines the price? So there's a difference between a $100,000 lot and a $175,000 lot. The difference is the more desirable the lot typically are is are is is the home is the lot on a, on a body of water? We have what they call retention ponds. They sometimes people refer to them as lakes. They're not really lakes. They're man-made lakes. Maybe you can call it that. But they typically go for more money. Depends on the shape. Are you next to an easement? As an example, if you look at some of these houses, they have to get to the lakes. So there sometimes is a is an easement, which is basically public property on the side of your house, making your your, your lot look a little bigger. You're going to pay more for that. So if you have any questions about, about lot pricing and all that, because I get a ton of that, reach out to our team. We would love to help you. Got to say this. If you walk into their sales center on your own, you're absolutely crazy. I say this in all my videos because it's an important point. Um, we highly recommend independent representation. And what that means is this. If you come and want to look at these homes here at the Woodlands or anywhere here in, uh, in Westlake, you want to bring your realtor with you on your very first visit. That's the way, that's the only way that you can get independent representation going forward. We are living in Palm Beach, Florida. That's what we do. We help, we help you along the journey. Uh, the cost to you in, in helping us help you is zero out of your pocket. It's the builder who pays us. And the builder, they have a marketing uh, budget aside from the price of the home. You can ask them. There's no discount if you use, if you go directly there. That is not true. You can you can ask the builders themselves. Uh, we are there for the. Uh, there's no. There's a, again. There's no no money out of your pocket. We will help introduce you to the in, to the uh, consultant. We want you to work with the best consultant at each builder, whether it's Minto or Coulter down the street for the West for uh, for um, for Crestwind. Any any of the builders. Uh, we want you to work with the clo with the with the strongest builder. So we'll help set that up. Um, we will be there throughout the process. Not just to, for the introduction, but also we'll help guide you when uh, when the construction and the inspections come up. Anyways, we're there to help you throughout the process. But we need, in order for us to help you, we need to be there for your first visit. I mentioned don't register on the website. If you register on the website, lots of times what happens, and I've had this happen, um, they will automatically assign you to a consultant. They have like five consultants over there in the, in their sales center, and they'll get who they'll give you whoever's up next. I'd rather you work with the ones that there's at least two that are really strong. I, I find that uh, that I think I know they're all good, but I think I know we'll do a thorough job. And I want to help you uh, get that person that's going to fight strong for you. At the end of the day, we have no bias. That's the other thing I got to talk about in terms of independent representation. There are lots of times homes for sale in these communities that are existing homes that were, let's say, last year's new construction. And now they're for sale in the aftermarket. Well, we will. We know about them. The builder knows about them too. The thing is, they won't tell you because they want you. They want to sell you a new home. We are living in Palm Beach, Florida. We have no bias. I'm happy to help you buy a home here that's existing in the orchards if it's a better deal, or or maybe in another community. Maybe you want to look at Arden. In any case, we have your back because we have no bias, and we'll help you throughout your journey, whether it's new new construction existing or anything here in the South Florida area. So we help people move here all the time to this area. And uh, one of the things that we find in general that attract people who consider Westlake, one of the thing that one of the attributes of the community that they find, uh, you know, what, what, what brings them here is the lo is the lower uh, lower level of HOA, the lower cost basis when it comes to HOA. That's homeowners association fee. In general, your homeowners association fee is going to be lower here in Westlake than most other communities here in Palm Beach and in South Florida. Again, I hate to get pinned down when it comes to cost of HOAs because they, it changes so often, but I'll say but for, I've been selling here for years now and their HOA really has not gone up that much. It always goes up because the price of inflation goes up. You know, cost of electricity, the cost to take care of the landscape and all this, but today it's, a, it's a roughly $143 is gonna be the current uh, homeowners association fee. Uh, with inflation, that will go up, of course. It includes, if you see the entrance here, let me see if I can get a little bit closer. It'll, it'll include like a virtual gate, so you get security. It will not be a manned gate, um, but 
that's what I find here at Westlake and a lot of the more new construction communities, they are they they they, they are happy and they are the feedback is they like they think that people uh, are prefer uh, may have you know virtual gates, which means that you pull up to the gate and there is a guard at the other end of the gate when you put your license in your driver's license in. So it does give us better sense of security. It's not just a, a gate where you can just go in mechanically. So it's one of the factors that helps keep the HOA low. Um, the landscaping for like, you can see they're working on the landscaping on the front. They will take care of all that landscaping as part of the HOA. Uh, they, but um, when it comes to your backyard, your front, that's on you. Um, then that's, you know, that I, th I find people also prefer to do that. What happens is people and reach out to our team. I can explain how this works. When people move in and like, like these people here in the orchards, you get to know people and you guys make deals with landscapers and you can lots of times use economies of scale for your economic people out there. And you could uh, do it on your own lots of times for less money on your own. And that's one of the, the factors when it comes to people moving to Westlake is the HOA is nice and lean, which a lot of people do in fact prefer. The other thing the HOA includes is they have uh, as part of the master community, uh, the master portion of the HOA, they have an elaborate adventure park down there. And that's part of your, that's part of what you're paying into it. Um, if you were to, uh, if you've seen some of my videos, you've seen of it, you see it. They've got a resort style pool. They have basketball courts. They have tennis courts. They have a lot of stuff there. I mean, for the price, you cannot go wrong. The adventure park, especially if you have young children and so forth, the adventure park brings a lot of value to the home, to owner, home ownership here in Westlake in Florida. Maybe you've heard of the term CDD. Um, it's only three letters, but some people think of it as a four letter word. Uh, it's, um, well, they don't have a CDD here in Westlake. They have something called an SID. It's a, it's a Seminole District uh, Improvement and Improvement District uh, fee. It is a lot lower than a CDD. It's right, and it comes in your taxes. It is roughly about $50 a month. And that's what, um, and that's relatively low. When you go up to places like Avenir, where it's literally thousands of dollars a year, um, here it's a, it's a lot more lean. Um, here at Westlake, they, uh, when they built this out, they absorbed, the Minto absorbed a lot of that cost, and they do have this SID. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a complicated topic. Reach out to our team. But if you're buying new construction in our area or anywhere near, near, anywhere's near Florida, and you need to know about CDDs. That's a question you really need to ask. Last thing you want to know is come tax time, you got a $5,000 tax bill, extra tax bill, because you did not ask that question. We do a lot of relocations and literally two of the most popular place, places, and I've done a video that outlines this um, a while back, two of the most popular places that people want to see are, um, are Westlake and in Arden. Arden is probably about a 15 minute ride from here. And the reason is it's new, it's new, it's new construction and you can get into these communities in general, maybe not in the woodlands, but you can get into other places in Westlake for in the, like, roughly in the 500s. Reach out to our team if you want to know which communities that, that, that sort of fits the profile. But you can also have a million dollar house. We did one down, or just came from it over, over that way. Um, people put, do put a lot of money in it. So in terms of value, in terms of, uh, if you buy a house in the sixes and sevens, you know, you rest assured that you're next to a million dollar house. That's going to help you in terms of your market value going forward. Going back to these communities, uh, both Westlake and Arden, one of, the th one of the things I find is that they are really good with events. They are, these are, both these communities are very golf cart friendly. And uh, you'll see it's a weekday and it's, you know, there's school and whatnot, so you don't see so much of it. And we are on the, like, the furthest part of, of, of Westlake right now. So this road technically is not open to anybody except for, People who sneak in like me, <laughs> um, they have um, they do like for Halloween, they'll do they'll do uh, lots of events. They'll do golf cart parades during the holiday season. There's no better place to celebrate uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, New Year's than here in um, in South Florida. These two communities, Westlake and Orton, are literally at the top of the list when it comes to events and things to do. And also to mention the adventure park, the adventure park, there's always events going on there. Um, and uh, for adults who want to keep their sanity, there is a section uh, separate from the rest of the uh, resort-style pool. They have an adult pool. So if you want to, like, grab a, grab a book and just have a quiet time next to the pool where there's no kids running around, they also have that here in Westlake, Florida. Lot size is important. Remember, 
Land does not depreciate. Your home and things inside your home will over the course of time, but land does not. Um, so I always tell people if you're uh, always, you always take that into consideration when you're buying your, your lots. Remember, that's something that you could, that's going to live with the house forever. The lots are, are bigger here. You can look at here where in general, I'm just giving you the, like an apples to apples comparison. In he, the Atlantic collection, you're 75 by 150. The Indigo collection, you are uh, 65 by 150. So those Indigo homes in the Pines and other com new community that they're currently selling are only 65 and 50 by 125. So as you can see, the depth of the lot is not as long. So that, that, makes, that makes a difference. That's why you will see, if you're looking, if you want to look forward and you're thinking about resale value, which you should be, um, I would, I think, rest assured, the homes here in the woodlands will probably hold up better here than some of, some of the other communities here within Westlake, Florida. Now, the Pines, the other community I was talking about, is currently open. If you want more information on that, reach out to our team. I would love to help you about that. I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm saving that video for another time. The Woodlands, are, the Woodlands is a little, bit more, a little bit more established right now. It started a little bit sooner. As you can probably see, there's, there's hardly anything starting. I see one, two, three. I see like four homes being started. The Pines is, doesn't even have this, uh, the, the, uh, the, this, the headstone here that, uh, that the Woodlands does. But they will. And when they do, I will be there like I do. I help people find these places before... They get expensive. So today it's the woodlands. We'll keep an eye out for the pines. In any case, we have your back when it comes to moving to whether it's new construction or anywhere it's here in South Florida. The woodlands, Westlake, paradise here in South Florida.